In a shocking twist that has left tech enthusiasts and industry experts reeling, the Tesla bot's reign as the king of humanoid robots has come to an abrupt end before it even got released. This is the Unitree G1, another groundbreaking AI humanoid hailing from China that can handle punches and other kinds of physical abuse. I would still not suggest you kick it because the trends show that artificial general intelligence is just around the corner. I have spent a lot of hours researching this robot and here is what I found. So, on May 13th at the ICRA 2024 exhibition in Yokohama, Japan, Unitree Robotics unveiled its latest creation, the Unitree G1 Humanoid Agent, an AI avatar that immediately made waves in the global AI and robotics communities. The humanoid system is powered by imitation and reinforcement learning. As per its physical structure and abilities, it's about 127 centimeters tall and weighs approximately 35 kilograms. The big highlight of this robot is the fact that it surpasses ordinary human flexibility and offers unparalleled movement potential. The G1 can walk at speeds of up to 2 meters per second and boasts a wide range of joint movements, featuring 23 to 43 joints with a maximum joint torque of 120 Nm. The company highlighted that G1 excels in performing high-load dynamic movements, such as dynamic stand-up, seat folding, and dance stick routines. It is also being claimed that this humanoid is continually upgraded and evolved through deep reinforcement learning and simulation training by making use of accelerated AI development. Unlike normal human babies, G1 doesn't come with two hands having five fingers each. This does not mean it cannot scratch its back, because it can be equipped with the optional DEX 3-1 Force Control Dexterous Hand, which uses force position hybrid control to mimic the precise operations of a human hand. This allows the G1 to handle different kinds of objects with high accuracy and stability. As per the reveal, the robot handles tasks like smashing walnuts, carrying heavy loads, and picking up delicate items like eggs with sheer grace. The demonstrations featured G1 handling tasks like opening soda bottles and welding with ease. Tasks that were previously considered challenging for machines are now effortlessly managed by G1's advanced control capabilities. Now, are you wondering how the G1 sees the world around and how it processes all the information? Well, the G1 is packed with Intel RealSense D435 and LiveOx Mid360 3D LiDAR, offering 360-degree detection and perception. These sensors give the G1 a strong edge in understanding its environment. Its power supply module delivers two hours of battery life and supports quick swaps. There are two versions of the G1 humanoid robot, the G1 and the G1 EDU. The standard G1 costs $16,000 excluding tax and shipping. The G1 EDU, the advanced model, offers different module solutions with prices customized to customer needs. It supports the DEX 3-1 force control dexterous hand, optional tactile sensor arrays, greater knee joint torque and arm load, and an optional NVIDIA Jetson Orin High Computing Power Module for secondary development. Unitree also rolled out the Unitree Robot Unified Large Model, or Unifolum, a co-creation platform for users to collaboratively create new intelligent agents and push innovation boundaries. This groundbreaking technology is set to redefine about 30% of industrial scenarios in the future, including numerous jobs in agriculture, construction, and other fields that can be completed by humanoid robots. The G1 is Unitree's second general-purpose humanoid robot and is set to be widely used. Last year, Unitree mass-produced the H1, the world's first full-size electric-driven humanoid robot capable of backflips. At 180 centimeters tall and 47 kg, the H1 holds the record for the fastest running humanoid robot at 3.3 meters per second. The H1's AI-driven programs are rapidly evolving, with several major upgrades in just six months, earning Unitree a position among the leaders in high-performance robot technology and shipments. Now, I estimate that some of you might not have heard about Unitree as a company, so let me present to you a few key insights from their journey. The company is based in Hangzhou, China, and was founded in 2016 by Xingjing Wang. 
It first created waves on February 13, 2023, when its quadrupedal robot Go-1 danced for Jason Derulo during the Super Bowl pre-game show. On July 12, 2023, Unitree launched the Go-2, a consumer-grade quadruped robot with 4D ultra-wide angle LiDAR and AI foundation models. On August 15, 2023, Unitree introduced the H1, the first full-size general-purpose humanoid robot capable of running in China, boasting top global performance power. During the Hangzhou Asia Games and Asia Para Games, Unitree's robots, including robotic dogs for transporting sports equipment and the B1 quadruped robot as a torch relay guide, were showcased. On November 3, 2023, Unitree released the B2 Industrial Quadruped Robot, raising the bar in speed, payload, endurance, and performance in the global market. The last funding round for Unitree was a Series B2, which took place on February 7, 2024. This funding round involved several investors, including China Internet Investment Fund, Dunhong Capital Management, Goldstone Investment, Maituan, Maida Junshi, Shenzhen Capital Group, Source Code Capital, WinReal Investment, and a few undisclosed ones. The amount raised during this round was nearly 1 billion Chinese yuan, which is approximately $139 million. However, the current valuation of the company remains unknown. Over the last year, the company has been actively producing a number of videos of their creations in response to marketing videos of competitors like Boston Dynamics, Agility Robotics, Tesla, Figure, and Aptronic. So yes, I cannot end this video without discussing how this robot compares to its American counterparts. There are a few major plus points of this robot that I want to tell you guys. First of all, the G1 robot with its 43 joint motors excels in tasks like cracking walnuts, opening bottles and soldering wires, and this closely rivals Optimus and Atlas in dexterity. Secondly, at 4 feet 2 inches tall, it runs up to 4.5 meters per hour, beating Optimus's walking speed, while Atlas, despite its agility, hasn't shown it can run. Thirdly, the G1's balance and stability let it take kicks and punches without falling. By the way, let me know in the comments section if kicking or punching a robot is a violation of any robot right. It might just save me from ending up in jail. Jokes apart, priced at $16,000, it's almost 10 times cheaper than the H1 model, unlike Optimus and Atlas, which are still in development with no pricing announced. From the original demonstration, I could not judge G1's ability to judge environmental contexts, so I cannot comment on how it compares to the likes of Figure 1 and Astrobot S1. Do let me know in the comment section below what you think about the future of the labor market as robots like the G1 are being unveiled almost every other week. Some of the best videos I have made recently are popping up on your screens. Click now and I will catch you there in a second. See ya!